Hi. Now, we're given that f of x equals 3x e to the power x minus 1, and we're asked to find the turning points, the exact coordinates of the turning point p on this curve. Now, to find turning points, that's where the gradient is 0. And to get gradient, we need to differentiate f of x with respect to x. So, we need to find out what basically f dash x is. Now to differentiate this with respect to x, when it comes to the first term we've got essentially two functions of x being multiplied together, the 3x times the e to the power x. And to differentiate this you need to be familiar with the product rule. Let me just remind you if you've forgotten the product rule, you can find this rule, the formula that is, in most formula books. But basically if you've got y equals two functions of x, let's call them u and v, it can be shown that dy by dx is essentially one of those functions, let's say u, times the differential of the other function with respect to x, that would be dv dx, and then you just do it the other way around. You just do v times du dx. So do try and commit that to memory. And you'll find examples of this on my website, okay, and tutorials also on this. Okay, let's just get back to the problem then. We need to differentiate this first term. So the u, if you like, is the 3x and the v is the e to the x. Not that it really matters. You just essentially take one of those parts, let's say the 3x, and you multiply it by the differential of the other part. Now the differential of e to the x is still e to the power x. Then we need to plus, okay, we've got the plus here for the product rule, and then we do it the other way around. We take the other part, in this case e to the x, and multiply it by the differential of this part, differential of 3 to the x to the power x, which is going to be simply 3. Differentiate minus 1, that's going to go to 0. So there's our f dash x. We just need to clean this up and we get 3x e to the power x and for this term I'd write it as plus 3e to the x. Now we know that at turning points, and I'd encourage you to write this in, your solution that is, okay, at turning points we know that the gradient that's given by f dash x equals 0. So what's that going to mean? Well, therefore, our equation here, 3x e to the power x plus 3e to the power x is going to equal 0. We're setting that gradient then equal to 0. And we need to solve this to find out what x is. And to solve something like this, I would factorize it first. And we've got a common factor running through these two terms, the 3 and the e to the power x. So I'd bring 3 e to the power x out the front of a bracket and this would equal 0. So what goes in here? Well we would need an x to give us 3x e to the power x, that term, and we would need plus 1 so that we get 3 e to the x times 1 is 3 e to the x. Now we've created one term here made up of three factors, the 3, is one factor, e to the x is the other factor, and x plus 1 is the third factor. And that means that any one of these factors could possibly equal 0. Well clearly it's not going to be the 3, 3 can't equal 0. And what about e to the x? Can e to the x equal 0? Well basically the answer is no, because you shouldn't be familiar with the graph of e to the x if we were just to sketch it over here. If we were to say that we drew the graph of y equals e to the power x, what does it look like? Well, it never crosses the x-axis, it just rises from there, goes through 1 on the y-axis and rises very rapidly like that. The x-axis is often called an asymptote. The curve just approaches it, never crosses it, never equals 0. So, e to the x can't equal 0, so it must be the x plus 1 that equals 0. So, therefore, x plus 1 equals 0. And what does 
that imply? Well, it implies that x equals minus 1. Now, if we want the exact coordinates of the turning point, we've got the x coordinate, it's minus 1. We need to get the corresponding y coordinate. Or we need to find out what f of minus 1 is. We need to substitute minus 1 into here. So we would put, therefore, f of minus 1 equals, and we would need to do 3 times minus 1 times e to the power minus 1 minus 1. And they wanted the exact coordinate, so we don't want to work this out as a decimal, okay? Because e to any power is going to be irrational, that is, it's going to give us a non recurring, infinitely long decimal, so that's not going to be in an exact value. So we just need to leave it as minus 3 e to the minus 1 minus 1. Or you could write this, I suppose, as minus 3 over e, then minus 1. I leave it up to you. But at the end of the day, what we've got is therefore the turning point P has coordinates minus 1, that's the x coordinate here, minus 1, and then the corresponding y coordinate will be minus 3 e to the minus 1 minus 1. Okay?